What's up, internet world? Since I've been to your loving baby girl, I've been running, I've been rolling. Hey subscribers, I need to like come up with a name for you guys because I hate calling you guys subscribers like yes you guys subscribe but you guys are so much more than subscribers like you guys are my friends so let's redo really that. Hey besties, so today we are going to be making alternative DIYs. You better get ready because this one, this one is going to blow you to the moon. So what do we have? We have leg warmers, we have cheetah print bleach shirt, we have safety pin shirts, and we have little bleach patches. And we also have um, arm sleeves in the fishnet hack and fishnet sleeves. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm going to be going more in depth on how to make the leg warmers instead of doing a voiceover but because this is really really important if you want to make no sew leg warmers you really have to understand what to do otherwise it won't work at all so hopefully i won't mess mine up and it works so all you need is a jacket or a long sleeve shirt could work but you know it's going to be leg warmer so you would want the sleeve to be baggy and then what you want to do is you want to cut the seam off so you see the seam, you just want to cut that off. You don't want to cut on the seam, so I'd cut on this side. So that way you still have the seam and you still have your arm sleeve. Um, so usually this jacket, their seam is weird. So if you want to look on the inside, you can see where the seam is. This one attaches to the collar up here. So I'm going to have to cut this collar out as well along with this seam but yeah so you guys want to look on the inside of your jacket and you want to look for your seam of your shirt and then you just want to cut around it so i'm going to cut around this side you don't want to cut on the inside you want to cut on the outside and then you want to cut all the way around so yeah that's all you have to do then let's start cutting so the first thing i'm going to be doing as i just explained is i'm going to be cutting off the arm sleeve right at the seam um, if you guys have fabric scissors, you can use those because I'm just using these kitchen scissors and it really did not create a pretty cut for me, but it's all I could find so it worked anyways. I realized I didn't actually have to cut the sleeve all the way to the top because that's not where the arm part really goes but I ended up just cutting it later on so you guys will see that later. So obviously this is what my arm sleeve looks like. Whoa, okay. Let's just put you back underneath here. Sorry, I felt like I was gonna like burp. But, and then you wanna do the same thing to the other sleeve, so. Okay, and then you're going to want to cut off the cuffs of your arm sleeves. And then also you wanna cut straight across on the side so that way you can make your flare if you like that look and if not you can cut this in a different way i'll show you guys how to cut it but this is so that way you can create that flare that goes over your shoes okay so here i am cutting straight across and i probably should have pinned the fabric or been paying more attention because I realized I actually wasn't cutting straight across and I was cutting diagonal and I just wasted fabric and ended up with not a leg warmer really but I made it work so
Bleh. Hey guys, so I have been letting the leg warmers dry all day. Obviously, you guys saw me watching and I freaking messed up and I cut it wrong. So this one's, they're gonna be mismatched. This one's gonna be like a little smaller one. And this one's gonna be like the actual leg warmer. But yeah, they're all dressed. So I gotta turn them back right side up now. And obviously you guys don't have to glue the edges if you are perfect at cutting. Not me, can't relate. I congratulate you though. I'm also like really sweaty right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I was just outside. It's like, it's like nighttime, but it's like a hundred degrees. Okay, so these are what the leg warmers look like. Oh, I stood up too fast. They're super cute, honestly. It's my favorite freaking thing I ever made. I always wanted leg warmers, never knew where to buy them, and now I have some. So yeah, obviously you guys can either choose this style or this style. I accidentally did this style, but, you know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just like to do the, you know, just the little. I'm cute. Anyways. I'm obsessed with these. I'm really sad that I messed up on this one, but I learned my lesson. So yeah, on to the next DIY. Okay, so what you will need for this is bleach, and then I got some water to dilute it. You will want some duct tape for later, scissors, and then a light colored pencil. Please be sure to be careful with the bleach because that can stain your hands and your eyes, and it can just be really bad. So be very careful if you're handling bleach. And the first thing I'm doing for these patches is I'm going to just create a bunch of shapes. So I created a square, I used this jar to create a circle, I did this weird trapezoid thing, and then I did a heart. So the first patch I'm making is this little Hello Kitty Devil Girl. I forget the freaking name of this one, but I, yeah, I think that it's super cute and I want a little patch of it. So here I am. One thing that I will remind you guys to do is make sure you make your shapes big enough to fit whatever design you want to fit inside the patch because my designs were a bit small even the heart i had to make that a lot bigger but yeah just adding some water to my belief and then taking a little paint brush that is how I'll be adding my paint I mean adding my bleach onto my patch um you guys can use q-tips if you don't have paint brushes but yeah just be very careful about this part and don't be putting your face all up in that bleach but yeah just taking the paint brush and I'm outlining the design and I decided to make the wings colored in with bleach as well as the horns and you can really play around and experiment with this and decide what you want to be shaded and what you want to be black Afterwards, I got a black sharpie and I just went in and filled in some lines 
out where I thought there needed to be some and kind of made the image a little bit clearer. Especially on this Hello Kitty one, I feel like it needed to be cleaned up a little bit. For this next DIY you want to do is you want to try on your shirt and you want to decide where you want to make your cuts at and then you want to go ahead and draw those lines on you and then I went ahead and drew them bigger and bolder and darker with and straighter with this little notebook so that way I can get my lines all put together and then I got some scissors and I just cut right on the lines so yeah, you guys can just choose anywhere you want to add safety pins. You can cut a little hole or you can do that V down from the neck like I did. And then I'm just cleaning up the edges with my scissors to make it look a lot cleaner. And then cutting the V. If you guys are doing a V, try to make sure that it is really, really straight because I did not do that and obviously mine is like a little bit crooked but if you guys are able to get your V super straight then you're set and then I just cut off the bottom of the shirt so that way I can attach safety pins to it and I kept the hemming of it because that way it will look all nice and then I'm also cutting off these sleeves because these sleeves are both mix matched one of them has like the squiggly hems and one of them doesn't so I'm just making them the same and now you want to apply your safety pins so you guys know how this works just open them up and attach them onto this material places that I felt that needed the most support. And then don't forget to clamp your safety pins. This is really important if you're going to be wearing your shirt a lot, you want to make sure you clamp your safety pins and that they stay on your shirt and you're not getting hurt. Hey guys, this is what the shirt looks like. It's honestly really cute and like I literally never wore this shirt before and now I'm like literally gonna wear it a lot. Obviously I kind of messed up right here. I tried fixing it. I could always give it more slack. But I don't really care that much. Okay guys, for this last DIY you will need a black shirt. Make sure you check what material it is and look up what material the bleach can go through best on. I'm pretty sure cotton um, is good. I think the shirt might be like more polyester and it made the bleach a little bit like darker, I feel like. But yeah, just to make sure that your bleach colors turn out okay, just look up what material and all that stuff. But yeah, so to do this cheetah print, you want to take a bigger paintbrush and your bleach just dilute it a little bit the more you dilute it the less the color is going to be and then you just want to add big old spots hey guys so my phone ran out of storage my other phone that i was using to record so the footage got cut off but this is what it looks like.
you can't really see the actual color of it because my LED lights right now but I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm going to either paint on the cheetah print or color it on so yeah so yeah after you do that you are going to let your bleach dry and then get a sharpie and you just want to make little like half circles and these are going to be your little cheetah prints obviously and i'm just making them go upside down sideways right side up like literally everywhere and it's just making it as random as possible I went ahead and took this pink marker to start filling it in and then I realized I wanted to use acrylic paint instead so that way I got a more brighter, bolder look and so I just got little dips of paint and I did that. I think I used like pink, blue, yellow, green. I try to use a lot of colors and of course I love my bright pastels so I had to choose those. This DIY was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I was worried that it wasn't going to turn out good, but it really turned out really dope and I like how the cheetah print looks. I am now just going back in with my black sharpie and I'm making any of the outlines that I didn't make beforehand because when making this I did decide to add more prints in places where I didn't originally outline the little cheetah print to be and then I also made other lines darker and made it look super cute. So this is what the shirt looks like. Honestly, I think it turned out really, really cute. And you can always wear your shirts however you want like this or it looks cute like a crop top too. Yeah, I really love this shirt. I honestly really wanted to do something different with my black tank tops and my black shirts because I hate wearing my plain clothing all the time. And the same thing with the patches is like you can always put that on a plain t-shirt and then it spices up your outfit a little bit more. So yeah, I'm like absolutely obsessed with this. I never ever owned cheetah print, always wanted to. For the next DIYs, I will not be doing them because of two reasons. So the first reason is because I don't have the materials and the second reason is because these are really really common known alternative DIYs. Like they're really common and they take like three seconds to do. Like literally it's just like cutting. That's all you need to do for these ones. I'm just going to show you guys what else you can do. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is like little arm sleeves so just like the leg sleeves you can these i cut from socks so you can always cut them from socks and cut a hole and that's what i did with these ones and you can also use any any arm like sleeve from a shirt that you want and all you have to do is cut the top and then cut holes in it and that's it like but yeah that's it and yeah, it's pretty simple. It takes literally three seconds. 
so yeah if you have a striped shirt and you don't wear it then just make that into arm sleeves because maybe you'll wear that more fishnet sleeves so obviously you know from the fishnet leggings when you buy fishnet leggings they're connected so all you have to do is this one's kind of ripped a lot but all you i can't find my other sleeve too so i'm sorry but all you have to do is cut off like the arm sleeves and at first I left it together, like I left the butt part together because I was like, I still might want to wear these on my legs, which you can still do that with even out that part. So that's why I cut it off. But I kept like the shorts on there. I just like had that as like a tube top underneath. But eventually I decided to cut that off because it started ripping and stuff. So yeah, and that's... Oh. Yeah, and that's the other DIY. So those are two other DIYs that you can do. I do not have any more for this video, but please stay tuned and hit that subscribe button because I will be doing many more DIYs. I really am getting to a point in my life where I am able to start creating things more. So I'm really excited to start creating more clothing things i'm going to be doing a lot of clothing transformations with my shirts that are actually like sewing and not no sew so i'm so excited whoa <laughs> i just said so like 10 times hit that subscribe button please and i'll see you next time have a good day and peace out I've been